Hey guys, how you doing? Sorry it's been extremely long that I have filmed for you guys. I'm so sorry. It's just been a boatload of stuff. But anyways, I just want to get into it. This will be a review video. I have a bucket of stuff. So I have saved up quite a bit of stuff from hair care, skin care, and a little bit of makeup. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with hair care because there is less products in here. This is the Satin Strands Leave-In Conditioning Cream. This is for your extensions. Now, I want to say back a couple years ago, for years, I was addicted to hair extensions. I'm not so much anymore, but when I was, and I know a lot of my friends and family still are, so this is why I decided to throw this product in here, because there is care out there for your extensions. And I did actually find this... I don't know if I liked this or not, um, but I wanted to throw it in there because I thought it was important, but I have tried better care for my extensions, but this one, I just don't really think it cut it, to be honest with you. I just, it smells good. It smells good. And the price, I think it was like, I don't even know. I bought it years ago, but, and there's still a lot left, but it's expired, so I decided to throw it out. But anyways, it looks like this. You guys can see it but yeah it just didn't work any different than any other leave-in conditioner that's out there on the shelves and I just didn't I just don't see the point in really spending the extra money on it I think any old leave-in conditioner will work but there is other leave-in conditioners for extensions that I have tried that have also worked as well that was the same price so I mean I don't know if it really matters to any of you whether you want it to be for actual you know even the if your hair extensions are for Remy hair or if it's fake either way this I not repurchasing I didn't really feel like it helped any different so for the next thing I have the so gorgeous layer building hairspray for uplifting locks now the same thing with that product and this product I both bought at Sally's and again this one smells super super good but the only thing that I didn't like about this is that the nozzle on here just like locks up all the time and like you could still like push down like you're supposed to but like product just doesn't come out <laughs> all the time I don't know it's weird but it does smell good and it does really work but the only thing that I didn't like about it was that the nozzle gets stuck all the time and I just didn't like it but as far as the price the price was good and the product does work so definitely would repurchase but um, I'm not always at Sally's so I do have other stuff that I like to use but if I happen to be there would I repurchase yes Okay, next two products. I don't know where you can repurchase because these products were actually given to me, but they are the Divines. Divines? I don't know how you say it. It looks like that. I don't know if you guys have ever used these products before, um, but I have two of these here. And this one is the um, Sea Salt Spray. Um, for full body beachy looks and this is for um, invisible serum for satiny tousled looks they both smell really really good and however I liked this one this one is for the beachy looks and I really found this helpful and useful because in the summertime I'm always at the beach. I love the ocean. I'm always in the water so I always find myself digging for a salt spray. So this one definitely worked. Like I said, I don't know how much it is or where you can buy it but if you guys are really really interested just leave a comment down below and I will research it for you and I'll leave a link and the price and all that other stuff. And if I can find it, I will repurchase. However, I I have found other stuff that I have found that I really, really love. Right now, I'm testing out a John Frieda one, which I absolutely love, and it smells so good. But I did really like this one. Uh, but as far as this one, for the Tousle looks, it actually just kind of felt like a leave-in conditioner. So this one, as far as it's saying for, like, Tousled looks, 
I don't really think it kind of worked for that. Um, and the consistency even looked like and feels like a leave-in conditioner. So I don't, I don't really know. But would I repurchase this? Probably not, just because there's like a thousand other products that I use that mimic just the same thing. So would I go out of my way just for this? No. Okay, so now we're gonna get into skincare. And now this stuff is an oldie buddy goodie. And I do like this stuff. This is the Nivea Soft, Refreshingly Soft Moisturizing Cream. And this says it has jojoba oil and vitamin E. Now, I really like this stuff as opposed to the regular Nivea cream because this one, it is actually really, really soft. So it does actually claim, you know, what it says. It is a lot softer than the original formula. So I really, really like this one. And this I especially love to just like throw in my bag or just throw wherever I'm going. But um, I do buy all kinds of lotions all the time because I'm constantly looking for lotions because my skin is just always constantly dry. So I love testing out new things, but would I repurchase? Yes. Yes, 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 I would. And it's like two or three dollars or something. So definitely give it a go. Next thing is a product that I absolutely hated. Oh my goodness, I hate it. And if you guys love this product, then that is so awesome for you. But I tried it because it was like a dollar or something, and I gotta tell you, I absolutely hated it. This is the Ami Eye Makeup Remover Pads, and it's just like the little jar. It looks like this. Oh, focus for me, please. Yeah, it's just like the little package. Yeah, and it's some, it, it says number one eye makeup remover brand in America, but this package in particular, I hated. And as soon as I opened up the package, I was like, all you can smell is like straight alcohol. Oh my God. It smells like, you know what it smells like? It smells like straight up nail polish remover. And I'm sorry, but I'm not putting that anywhere near my eyes. No way. So this was like, hmm. I like the fact that it was like pads, but just for the smell, I'm not putting that anywhere near my face. And next product I got actually when I used to be subscribed to Ipsy. So they sent me this Hanalei Sugar Lip Scrub. And it looks just like that. And the inside looks kind of like that. So I did use quite a bit of it in order to do the review for it. It smells like lemon, so it smells very refreshing. And it does contain like a lot of sugar granules in it, which I like. But however, when I kept applying it to my lips, it felt like all the sugar granules were just leaving and it, I just was like rubbing my lips with a bunch of oil and it just felt pointless to me. So honestly, I don't know how much it is because again, it came in an Ipsy subscription. So I don't really know how much the product is by itself. But I haven't seen it in any stores that I've been in, but I definitely wouldn't go out of my way to buy this. So that was a no-go for me. Um, next product is a product that I love. Oh my goodness. This is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. This has sunscreen SPF 15 in it and antioxidant complex vitamin C and LHA oil free. That was a mouthful. <laughs> and this actually came with a big bottle of micellar water that I bought. Now, Garnier is like my absolute favorite skincare brand at the moment. I love trying new different brands, but I've been using Garnier for years and I absolutely love it. They never let me down. <laughs> but this just had such a nice like, oh my goodness. And it always smells so good, but it didn't sting my face. It didn't you know, leave my skin feeling oily because of the SPF in it or anything like that. It just felt like so smooth and oh my goodness. And am I repurchasing? Well, am I purchasing the full size bottle? Yes. And do I recommend it for you guys? Yes, I do. And because I have really extremely dry skin, this worked for me. And if you guys have really, really dry skin, I definitely recommend it for you guys too. Okay, and the next skin product that I have for you guys, I tried it and I really didn't like it. This is the Yes to Carrots uh, Nourishing Fragrance-Free Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, 
this just says dermatologist tested natural 99% natural product which is cool but and I did use it for a while again to review it um, fragrance free so it doesn't really smell like anything but um, honestly I just it didn't do anything bad to my skin I just feel like it didn't really do anything for it and as far as like exfoliating um, I guess but there's just other regimens that I use myself, including one that I make myself. So I just don't feel like it really did anything for my skin. If anything, uh, I, I typically like to use products that actually brighten up my skin. And I noticed that this definitely dulls down the skin, which is okay. I mean, if some of you like that kind of thing. Um, but I just don't feel like it did really anything for my skin. It didn't make me break out or anything like that. It just didn't really do anything for my skin. So, am I repurchasing? No. But it is in a decent price range, so it is affordable. It's just not something that's for me. The last skincare product that I have is now, again, because I do love going to the ocean whenever I get home from the beach. And not even just, like, in the summertime. I'm always looking to moisturize my skin with, like, a heavy, deep mask moisturizer. Is the H2O Body C Results Anti Aging Body Moisture Whip. And this stuff is incredible. Oh my goodness. And it looks just like that. And it smells super, super good. So I went through a whole thing of this. It smells wonderful. And it really, and the good thing that I like about this stuff is that a lot of whips and creams that I've used like you have to keep reapplying with this stuff it actually lasts like a whole day so I found myself never having to reapply until like my next shower and then you know I like to reapply it again but I didn't find myself constantly reapplying so this stuff lasted as well so I really really like it now this stuff I know you can buy at Kohl's um, I don't know where else you can repurchase it but I actually ended up getting this at TJ Maxx so I got it a little bit cheaper than what you would typically pay at a department store so if you guys do want me to research it for you I can definitely do some research and um, just comment down below and I can just look it for you guys okay now on to makeup all right so this first product I'm going to show you, I'm not sure if you can buy it because this was actually given to me, so um, I'm not sure where you can buy it or how much it is, but it is a Glamcore Professional um, Performance Primer. It is a silicone primer, so um, I just, you know, I just really didn't like it. It just felt like... Whenever I used it and then I went to put my foundation on, whether it was a matte one, whether it was a dewy one, I just felt like it would slip and slide all over the place. It would just never stay. And the product looks like this. I'm sorry, guys. So, sorry about the lighting. This packaging has, like, hella reflecting. But, yeah, I just, I really didn't like it. I think the packaging is pretty cool, but the fact that it's all silicone, I just, I just really didn't care for it. Again, if you guys want me to research it, I can research it for you. Um, so definitely not purchasing for myself. This next product I found at the dollar store, believe it or not, and I know why would I ever put anything on my face that's that cheap. But you know, you never know. Sometimes you can find really good stuff there. I just happened to be there and I just picked it up. So this is the Sassy and Chic BB Beauty Benefit Cream. And this just says multi-action skincare makeup. And this is in the shade light. So the formula is actually really pretty. It kind of has a pinky tone to it, but I like it because I do have a pink undertone to my skin. So the formula is nice and I didn't have a reaction to it or anything like that. I just don't feel like it really held up to par, but I mean, hey, you get what you pay for, so... Um, would I repurchase? No. Um, but it's easily accessible and if some of you guys really want to try it, um, I mean, go right ahead. But I'm not repurchasing just because I really don't think it really, it really just didn't live up to par is really the best way that I can describe it. So, eh, no go. Alright, so... 
And the next one is a cult favorite of a lot of people's. And I actually really liked it too. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. And this is just the small one. So this is just the one that flips up. And it looks just like that. And it just smells so good. It literally does smell like chocolate. Oh, I can't even believe it. And what I actually kind of like about it too is because I am fair skin, is that even though it does say medium deep, it's really not that dark. So if you can kind of see it, it's not that dark, but it's the only reason why I'm getting rid of it is because it is expired and I don't like using anything that's expired on my face. I'm just, yeah, I'm nitpicky like that. So would I repurchase? Um... Honestly, I've bought a ton of other products. I have a ton of other products to use, so no at the moment, but would I repurchase when I run out? Yeah, I would. So, <coughs> thumbs up. All right, now this next product is, it's a small one, but I love this stuff. It was like perfect for my skin tone. It lasted all day. It was the perfect finish. It was just, it was excellent. This is the Dr. Jart Premium BB Beauty Balm and this has SPF 45 in it. This is just a five milliliter thing, but oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing. And I literally used the crap out of this. Oh, and like so much just came out. But this stuff really is amazing and I cannot wait to buy the full size product and I just blended out so much of that stuff but now you can kind of see. So definitely recommend, definitely try it out. I know you can buy it at Sephora. And moving on to the next product. Now this one is actually a Wet n Wild product. This is the Fergie Mascara and I think I don't have the package to it anymore, so I don't know what else it's called, but the wand looks like that, and I absolutely love the wand for that, and it's actually like, it's thin, but it's kind of like, I don't know really how to describe it, but I really love it because I found myself using the back of this just to kind of, you know, just really fluff them up, <laughs> fluff my lashes up. But I did notice about this that it just, it really dried out over time. So it's just the one thing I didn't like about it. But am I repurchasing? Definitely yes, because this is a holy grail of mine and it's not even that expensive. So definitely recommend that one. And next product is a product I got from Sally's. And this is a Sally Girl Eye Pencil. And this is in the color Cirilla. And it's just like a white eye pencil. But I gotta say though, and this stuff was like, if you can see the white right there, I put it on top of the bronzer. But it is actually really pigmented and at the time it was like 99 cents. I know they have switched over to another brand instead of their Sally Girl brand in Sally's now. It's now called Blitzy or something like that. But it's still like a dollar something and it's really pigmented just one swipe and you can see the color comes right out. So it's definitely worth giving it a try. And the next product I have here is one that I'm actually really sad that I didn't like. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Color in the color Swerve. So it's like a matte black and it looks like that. And the color looks like, the cap looks like that. And the reason I didn't like this is because when I first got it, it looked like it was going to be kind of, I guess it did look like it was going to be matte. I don't know. I really wasn't sure what I was expecting out of this. But as soon as I got, I don't know, I used this brush with it, which is, you know, your typical brush that you're supposed to use. And it just like, I couldn't get any kind of color out of it. I don't know what it was. Maybe I got a bad one. I'm not even really sure. 
but for some reason I couldn't get any kind of color on my eyelid and I tried putting eye drops in there I tried putting everything in there that I could and for some reason it just I don't know I, I literally tried everything and I mean as you can see I I went in there a few times to to try and uh I don't know, I'm just really kind of bummed because I love ColourPop. But I will say, though, that I bought their brow pomade at the same time. And that's what I used on my eyebrows today. And I love it. It comes right out. So, I don't know. I'm really kind of bummed. Maybe I could try buying another one and maybe, maybe it was just this. So, I don't know. And the next product I have is one that I got at... Bath and Body Works like ages ago like years ago but this used to be a holy grail of mine because it's really when I started getting into like the minty like lip plumpers because this literally is what this feels like it's the C.O. Bigelow Mentha Shimmer Tint in the color Pearl Mint and I know all my friends had this too so I know this was like a huge like popular lip gloss and it looks kind of like that and the cover kind of looks like that so it smells super super minty and refreshing and I wish they still sold this I don't know if they still do but last time I was in there they didn't have any and I was really sad and again it there is a lot of product in here but as you can tell it's pretty expired so but what I recommend yes and if I can repurchase I'm going to all right, speaking of which, the last two products I have are chapsticks because I am obsessed with chapsticks. Along with my skin, my lips are pretty dry all the time, so I constantly have to wear chapsticks. So this one I have the Lip Smacker, the old school one in cotton candy. It looks like that. And oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's just, um, I've run all the way out of it. And what I recommend, definitely. And it lasts all day. I love it. It's an oldie, but a goodie. And the last one I have is an EOS. I don't even know what this is called, but it's this. I'm sure you guys have seen this like little egg looking thing. And as you can see, it's a full product. And I wish I liked this, but I don't. And the reason is, is because I just feel like I constantly have to reapply this over and over and over again and it's really annoying because just like with um skincare hair care you know I don't want to have to keep reapplying something I, I want it to last at least a decent amount of time before I have to reapply it again if at all so I really don't think my standards are that high so I mean the fact that like you know I apply this and 20 minutes half hour later I gotta reapply it again that's pretty annoying but I will say though that I just bought their like the ones, the chapsticks that come in the stick. And that actually has a lot better of a formula. Like if you actually put this on your skin, it kind of feels like, it already feels kind of dry. But that one is actually, the one in the stick is actually a lot more creamier. So, and that one does actually last a little bit longer. So I've been using it for about a couple weeks now and so far so good. So if you guys, if you're not impressed by these ones, Definitely check out the stick ones because those are actually a little bit better, but I'm still going to keep using that um, to give you guys a full review. So, with all that being said, that concludes today's videos, uh, video, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you guys want me to research any of these products for you, I will go ahead and do some research on them and where you can find some of them if you can't find them in the stores. And I'll list the products, um, the prices, the links, all that good stuff. If you guys have any questions, any recommendations, anything that you guys want me to try out, again, just comment them down below. And I'm so happy to be filming again for you guys. I'm sorry, it's not like... <laughs> but, again, I have a couple more videos that I want to film for you guys. So, without further ado, let me get to it. And I will see you guys later. Bye!